Hi guys, this is Sydney. Today I am here to film my January favourites video with my new hair. Um, I just got a haircut last night, so I'm still getting used to it. I'm sorry if I seem like I'm super bothered with my hair. I'm just not used to it yet. Um, I woke up this morning and I was like, where did all of my hair go? And I remember that I got it cut yesterday and um, it's obviously a lot shorter, lighter, fresher because I cut all of the damaged bits of my hair off and it feels so light and yeah, I'm loving it but I obviously got like a blow dry at the salon so I'm hoping I can keep it like this every day but I doubt it. I thought I would film my favourites video with my new hair today to show you guys that I got a haircut. Um, when I was filming the 2017 favourites, I saw some of the comments saying, um, I thought you were going to have this as your favourite. I was expecting to see this in this video, but I think it's quite natural for me to kind of forget what I used to like in the beginning of the year and kind of only really talk about the product that I liked towards the end of the year. So I thought I would really have to film my favorites video more often so here I am today filming my January favorites so yeah I think I'm gonna get started with the only skincare product for this video and this is the Apu Madikasaside cream and I've tried the gel version prior to this I actually talked about it in my vlog saying that it's a bit too sticky and it might not be the type of cream that everyone likes because of the stickiness but with this one it's got a really light texture but it's not drying it's actually very moisturizing on the skin and I feel like it's just so nice it sinks into the skin really nicely you know when you're like really tired and lazy you don't want to be rubbing the cream like forever waiting for it to absorb into the skin this one absorbs into the skin like a dream and I actually apply two layers of this when I'm feeling like extra dry that day I feel like a lot of people would actually really like this cream I love it myself it's obviously very affordable because it's from up you I love the big tube of it and yeah I really really highly recommend this cream next I have a highlighter from Innisfree and this is the smart drawing strobing in the shade number two peach light and I believe they have a pink version as well but I obviously picked up the peachy one because it's a lot more natural looking on my skin tone. I love applying this before the foundation and even after the foundation as well. I've actually applied it before the foundation today to keep that glow on my skin and I actually used a lot of it considering the fact that I only discovered this last month. Because of the brush applicator it's so quick and easy to apply on the face. The texture is super lightweight. I generally prefer liquid highlighter to powder highlighters because it's a lot more natural looking so yeah I really really love this I highly recommend you to go and check it out and next I have a concealer from Clio and it's the Kill Cover Airy Fit Concealer in the shade 3BY Linen and I actually bought two different shades this is like more sort of darker and yellowy one for my spots and I have another one that I bought to kind of highlight my face but I didn't try that out yet I've only been using this shade in linen and I've just been covering up any spots or scars on my face I love how it's got such a fine tip so you can actually spot conceal without having to use a brush which is very very handy and yeah it's not the most high coverage concealer I feel like I have tried the other clear concealer and that's high in coverage but that means that it's um, actually not too drying which is good on my very dry skin so yeah that was my current favorite concealer next I have an eyeshadow palette and it's the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte palette. I actually discovered this last December but I've been just using this non-stop. It's just got like really nice peachy warm matte shades and I generally prefer matte eyeshadows on the lids and the shades I love are peachy and cream, peach tea, just peachy, fresh picks and peach cobbler. I love them all. It's just so nice. It's the perfect kind of palette to create very natural looking daily eye makeup and also very like dark smoky makeup as well. So I've been carrying this palette around with me. I know I used to love the Urban Decay Naked Heat but that's more on the darker side whilst this one has like really nice light peachy shades as well so I have this on my eyes today as well and every time I upload like a selfie on my Instagram you guys would ask me what I'm wearing on my eyes and it's most likely to be this one so that was from Too Faced and then I have an eyelash curler from Laneige I got this few months back and I've been using it 
ever since and you guys all know I've been obsessed with the maquillage eyelash curler but that was kind of harder to get hold of in Korea but this one curls my eyelashes so well it even gets into the very front bit of my lashes and it's not the most comfy eyelash curler on my eye shape but I've been loving how my lashes have been looking lately so I haven't really been applying any false lashes and yeah if you have like the previous eyelash curlers I recommended to you guys it's very likely for you to like this curler but if you haven't really liked the eyelash curlers that I've recommended previously you might not like this one so I think it'll be better for you to go and test it out before actually buying it so yeah some of you guys were asking me like if I have changed my mascara or my mascara fixer no it's just the eyelash curler that I've changed and I love how my lashes look with this eyelash curler and next I've got a blusher from Stila and this is the convertible color dual lip and cheek cream in the shade Gerbera and it's this kind of peachy pink it's more on the peachy side I guess and when I was in Korea last time I actually had a really bad reaction on my skin because of the long-haul flights that I've been taking I've just been really tired so uh, my skin was recovering from that breakout and it was so dry and flaky to the point I felt like I couldn't apply any powder blushes on my cheeks so I was only able to use this I love applying this with my beauty blender I used a side of it to apply it first and then I further blended out using this side but the only downside is because it's a cream product you get like dirt and dust stuck on the product I try to wipe off off the dust off every now and then and then use it I just love how it looks on my skin I have it on today as well it looks really great with any kind of lip shade it looks great with nudie lips rosy lips red lips you name it so that was Gerbera lastly I have two lip products to show you guys and they are both the 3CE velvet lip tint and the shade I'm wearing on my lips today is near and dear and it's this kind of really gorgeous nudie pink shade and I love it paired with like other lip products but I love it on its own as well and the other shade I wanted to talk about is New Nude which is more sort of peachy and beigey shade compared to Near and Dear. I love them both. Near and Dear looks great as a base with other rosy, pinky and even red shades and New Nude looks great with more sort of warm shades like orangey shades or even orangey reds. Um, as the name suggests it's a very velvety texture but it almost feels powdery on the lips so if you have very dry flaky lips you might not like these but I love that kind of very matte and velvety look on my lips so if you like that kind of lip products I think you're gonna love these as well because it's so like matte and powdery it blends so nicely with other matte lipsticks it doesn't really blend that well with moisturizing lipsticks but with other matte lipsticks it blends so nicely I think I'm actually gonna end up with all of the shades I actually have five but these two are my absolute favorite shades if you have three CE around you go check them out so that was everything it was pretty simple and short make sure to let me know in the comments below what you've been liking in the month of January I would love to read them and as always thank you so much for tuning in till the end of this video and I'll see you guys again in my next one